to the series. Let's get in my kitchen and start preparing some yummy food for the week. Thank you for tuning into today's video. This is a complete series. So in this video today, I actually bring you into my kitchen and we prepare a few things for the week that I will use when I make my meals. And there are a few things that I will just do when I'm ready to start preparing the meal, such as I will steam my potatoes, I will roast my sweet potatoes, that's just how I prefer it. But if you need to prep them on the weekend, please go ahead and do that. I find it really, really convenient. But for me, I just know I'm gonna eat at five o'clock and so I start the process around four o'clock or whatever time of day that you are eating these kind of foods. And just having soups on hand is so amazing to me because if I'm getting busy when I'm working outside or whatnot, I can come in and grab, you know, a little bit of soup, warm it up, and it really, really satisfies me. I also will make my bread this week. So some things I'll just do throughout the week, like my overnight oats and things like that. But by all means, prep as much as you can to stay on track and be successful with the starch solution. So after all of my meal planning and prepping, meaning I have all of my food ready to go, it's time for me to get into the kitchen and really start putting together some of the items that are going to make the process of preparing my meals a little bit more smooth. In this case, I made a pumpkin and sweet potato soup. I will link the recipe below. This is such a decadent soup, but also yet so simple. It's perfect for these winter months. I made a garlic mayo. This is delicious. I just threw together some ingredients to put it all together. I do have a mayo recipe on my Start Solution Instagram page. I will link that recipe below for you to try. I also prepared garbanzo beans in my Instant Pot. I soaked them overnight. I then cooked them in the Instant Pot with water for 45 minutes. I made hummus from them and also kept some to make a chickpea 
tuna mixture that I will enjoy this week. I also left some that I will add to my meals, possibly over my soup. all about finding ways to make your life simple when it comes to meals throughout the week. For me, I have a little bit more time to focus on my meals, but I totally understand that is not the case for everybody. So in this case, if you wanted to prep all of your starches like your rice and potatoes, totally go for it. I used to do this all the time. I now just start prepping some of my meals about 30 minutes to an hour ahead of time. And that works really well for me. So I have some overnight oats prepped, the mayo, brand muffins, the tofu, soup, chickpea tuna. When I eat this, I will add the zucchini relish that I got from the pantry. I have chickpeas that I'll add to soups. There's my hummus. I have some mushrooms and asparagus that I'll eat, onions, some fruit, a bunch of other just raw vegetables that I will either saute or roast or that I will add to the air fryer or saute. I also have lettuce from my garden here and the loaves of bread that I will bake on Monday. I also have celery and tomatoes and ginger that I'll use this week. And then in this drawer, I have the potatoes that I will steam and the sweet potatoes I will roast an extra fruit for my husband and I. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. I hope you enjoy this series because for me, it's all about keeping it simple, planning and prepping and preparing so that you have a successful week where you can be consistent eating all things start solution starches and veggies and fruits and so many amazing foods. Until next time.